Hello there. Let's look at an example of the SAT reading comprehension vocabulary in context questions. The relationship of the vampire and his assistant seemed to have been reversed, and Jonathan, now in his early twenties, was the authoritative. Since boyhood, he had been taking one responsibility after the other, until he had left the vampire with nothing to perplex him. But how to while away hours while the servants were busy? In the sentence, perplex would most nearly mean what? So they have given us four options: option A, trouble; option B, bewilder; option C, astonish; and option D, entangle. Let's see how this question can be done. So first, we try to replace the word with our own definition that fits the context. So you can come up with something like, the relationship of the vampire and his assistant seem to have been reversed. Jonathan, now in his early twenties, was now the authoritative. which clearly means that earlier he was not authoritative since boyhood he had been taking on one responsibility after another which clearly means that he was not not authoritative he he was uh, uh, dependent on someone until he had left the vampire with nothing to dash him so you can come up with something like until he had left the vampire with nothing to bother him with nothing to worry him with nothing to trouble him right anything of that sort would be the correct one Once we establish that context, we then look at the options. We cross out the options that are not close to bother him or worry him. Let's look at the options with nothing to trouble him. So trouble would probably be exactly the same, something on the same lines of bother or worry. So let's keep trouble on hold. Let's look at option B, bewilder. Bewilder means to be shocked. So here we don't have the context of shocking. We just eliminate that answer. Again, astonished would also means it would mean to be shocked. Let's get rid of that answer because it's not close to perplexed or to worry. And again, entangle would also mean to get caught in a situation um, where there is no escape. So this would also not be the correct answer because it's not close to same. This is not close to um, worry. So by the process of elimination, you can say that um, trouble would be the closest answer. Okay. So since the vampire had no responsibilities to worry, so obviously he has nothing to bother him or to trouble him or to worry him. right so here's a very small tip do not answer the question based on things that could be right always try to fit the fit the context and then try to come up with your own um, choice of words okay so the correct answer for this should be option a thanks for watching